Uh, welcome everybody to the Three Way Podcast Show. Yes, sir. This is episode twenty-five of season two. God damn! I am your host <laughs> with the most los Public Enemy fifty-nine. Across Ruby, we got JP, aka Linkster one hundred and one. We should have been canceled. And behind <laughs> the magic of it all, we got Eli, aka JRX four X. What's up? Thank you guys for uh, being here today. Remember, like, comment, share, help us out over here. Keep the lights on. Today, we're going to start off with pop. 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 <laughs> we got some good shit going on this week. Oh, my um, God. The uh, Marvel Movie universe. Studios, with Marvel Disney. Cinematic with Universe, Disney. came out with their plans for basically 2019. So we got a little 2019? 2020. Yeah. Ah damn! Still, still a year back, man. Uh, hey, man, it's like Loki, time traveling, bro, back and forth. You know that is saying? true. He has a point. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> so we got a roadmap for 2020. We got an idea of what's coming out this year. Uh, Jerks, can you let the people know? Yeah, well, uh, yeah. You caught me when I was shipping my coffee. <laughs> uh, but it looks like uh, yes, we're gonna be getting uh, Captain uh, America and the Winter Soldier. Wait, wait, Captain America? I thought it was Captain Falcon. I mean, well, isn't Captain. it? Well, he's supposed it, to be Captain America, but they right? still calling him Captain Falcon. Oh, uh, it's Captain Please. Falcon. Can you read the comics? <clears throat> it's actually Falco and Can you read Falcon the, Punch? Can okay. You, yeah. It says. Have you read the comics? No. No. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I first look at the, uh, the the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, uh, Wandavision, and Loki. The first Disney uh, Plus entries into the Marvel Cinematic Universe is finally here. Uh, this is basically a commercial that was popping up on the Super Bowl. Correct. This past weekend, um, it was probably like one of very, very few from the Super Bowl commercials that actually like was like, oh, interesting. Everything else, I, I mean, just I know. Side note: fucking Super Bowl commercials were boring this year. No, nah, actually, actually no. I, 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 I like them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Being hated, hey, but hey, but hey, as far the majority <laughs> of them were good. as far I, as nah. all that. Um, I mean, I already canceled my subscription because of the Mandalore is over, but I'll probably r- restart it over. <laughs> nah. The Mandalore is over, so Disney Plus so Disney Loop. Disney Plus oh, no. will be subscription will be started once again. In I'm August. catching up on all the uh, animated uh, Star Wars shows. Uh, supposedly, there's a lot of lore in there, so I'm just like going through that. Yeah, but uh, I mean, I as far as Wandavision, Vision, I can give two shits. I really what? could give two shits. He doesn't like women. Um, no, I just find <laughs> Wanda like and Vision. Wanda is not even the actual character. If you actually look at the actual comic, she's part of X Men. She's Magneto's daughter. Whatever. I'm not even gonna get into it. I'm just not interested. Um, um okay, but uh, I am interested because so far they've. So with Mandalorian, they've shown that Disney's doing really good with these TV no, shows. No, 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 no. Disney did not show that. John Favreau showed that. He part of Disney, hired by Disney, and uh, so they're one for one right now on TV shows. So I want to see what they got next. Now, do I think it's gonna? Do, uh, do I know what it's gonna be? No, I have no idea if it's gonna be good or not. It, it it's showing different. Types of sitcoms in there, black and white, modern. Uh, like. Yeah, it's because uh, the WandaVision stuff is supposed to be like her uh, trying to alter her reality by using her powers. So it, it'll like take her to different like uh-huh. like instances that's, of okay. different universes or whatever she does because she's so like powerful. And that's summer, right? Or when is this coming out? This is uh, coming August 2020. Yeah, is it? Uh, I, yeah, I, August 2020. So, so, so what I can tell you is that with the whole... I thought like she was going to try to... Because you know how Vision's body's still there? Maybe she was going to try to like... Get him uh, back. Get him back yeah, by going into his mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I thought that's what they it's, were going it's, to it's, it's, I'm interested. Who knows is how it's going to turn out. But so far, I have faith in uh, Disney and Disney+. Plus. Um, I'm ex- Oh, but uh, Falcon and uh, Winter, Winter Soldier's Soldier is coming out first. Correct. Right, and that's one that I'm really like. Okay, that one I'll watch. I want to see where that that can go. Loki, I'm excited for because he's just a great character. Yeah. Um. So I'm excited for them to really delve into his character. And uh, the last one is uh, Mandalorian season two. Which yes, I will be watching that oh, as well. I mean, come on. Uh, I mean, yeah. So pretty is- much by August till the rest of the, the the end of the year, my my subscription to Disney. Will be being paid. Oh wow! Uh, as of right now, it was, get I will not be paying that. Okay, yeah. bet. Yeah, no, but uh, let us just really quick. Yeah, uh, the releases are just late 2020, 2020, and then Loki's going to be early twenty twenty one. 
So they don't have like exactly. Oh, okay. There you go. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, uh, I thought I read somewhere August 20, 2020. I thought they came oh, out with release dates, but uh, I'm sure they did, and we're just dumb. Uh, <laughs> but thank you guys. L- let us know what you guys think. What shows you're hyped for? Um, are you hyped? If for someone says Wanda like and Vision, I'm a smack y'all. Why? Because they're like the most crappiest characters in the he whole. Doesn't like women's leading anything. I don't know. It's not that. I like I like Wonder Woman. That's it. Except like the movie. The movie was not that good. <laughs> outside outside of her, everything else the movie was not. Nah, the, the movie was. Solid. That's another topic. Oh, another okay, topic. all right. Uh, I like Bridesmaids. Now, uh, Mandalorian season two has been confirmed for October. Yar. Yar. Uh, and so, what do we think? That's gonna go into like, what do we think? Are, are we gonna see from Mandalorian too? We already saw his face, which to me was a was like okay. I didn't think we were gonna see that. No, I, I mean, but it was very quick. I mean, you still gotta. There's probably stories uh, going on. He's we still have to figure out. Looking. We still have to figure out what he is species, beautiful. What species is Yoda? Um, what? also, he, oh okay, baby Yoda, like your yo daddy in. Yo, 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 daddy. Yo, do- yo, daddy. <laughs> yo, daddy. Well, and then not only that, remember in that episode where he goes to Tatooine and uh, there's like at the end of the show, there's like a little kit clip of someone with like spurs walking. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know who Bubba that is. Nah, I'm assuming it's Bubba Fett. Bubba Fett. Bro, if we get Bubba Fett back. It'll be crazy. It'll be interesting. I'm coming. Uh, on okay. Me. Yes. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> You can come on this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so I, I, I'm, I am hyped. They did such a marvelous job. Like, no one can take that away from John Favreau. Uh, fucking amazing way to bring back Star Wars and put hope back to the Star Wars universe. Because these past three movies have been pure caca. And it's like, ugh. Yeah. But uh, they recaptured the fans with uh, Mandalorian Season 1. Uh, it's up to uh, John Favreau to... Continue it. Continue. Keep that momentum going. Um, The story arc, I think, is really badass. Baby Yoda is the best thing to happen to Star Wars since... uh, Since... uh, uh, What's the alien from uh, the prequels? The alien from the prequels? Oh, you're talking about Jar Jar Binks? Yeah, Jar Jar Binks. (laughs) He's amazing. (laughs) Uh, Misha, I think you're stupid. <laughs> Come at me at the comments. No, the Mandalorian uh, sup- uh, coming October this year was a little bit of a shocker because I think they said it was. Yeah, it's gonna be 2021. 2021. Yeah, but of yeah, course, yeah. with the success of how like, let's, like how many subscribers Disney Plus had, how many like views they have now, had, how, <laughs> how big that show is, it just it pushed them to be like, hey, you know what? Can we get this out earlier than later? And yeah, push super, everything super else not you got surprised, going on. super happy it's coming back. I just hope this rushing it didn't fuck things does, up. Doesn't fuck up the story. I don't think it will because John Favreau has his pace. He pro- look, I'm gonna tell you the truth right now. I don't think it's gonna come out October 2020. It wouldn't surprise me if they push it back to December. This isn't or the video game of- development. No, I mean still, uh, I've seen where movies are pushed back. So. Sonic. Uh, there you go. A uh, good example. Uh, and it came out great. It looks great. By the way, guys, check out the sound of trailers. It looks pretty good, man. I'm actually really gonna go watch it. Sand. I'm going uh, to be Sonic for Halloween. Yeah. I'm yeah. Be Sonic you got to go fast. Yeah, go fast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you come fast. Uh, all right. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Uh, what are you excited for this year? There's a lot of good stuff coming out this yeah, year. Yeah, but in this year. Wonder Woman 2 is coming out later this year Yeah, as well. I mean, let's hope yes. it's not, hi- hi- not that bad like the other one. Um, In sports is what we got coming up next. <sighs> Touchdown! It's a home run! Goal! It's too much. Sports. 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 Space arts. Um, so, uh, the NBA trend line came uh, came by. And went. Came and went. Came and went. Uh, as fast as lows. <laughs> some teams tried to make moves to make their teams better. Uh, Golden State traded D'Angelo Russell and uh, to go ahead and get Andrew Wiggins. Is it going to be a good move? Who knows? Well, they don't need they, – once Clay Thompson comes back with Steph Curry, they still have Draymond Green. Then they have Andrew Wiggins as like a role player. So you think that, it was a good, a no, good trade? No, I, I don't – I think there's, they're good as is. Like they don't really care. Who, as long as those three are the main core, yeah. I think they'll be okay. I don't think they'll win a championship anymore, but I but think they'll, they'll, be be, they'll be competitive. And you think Andrew Wiggins – Give me I, I never, I never like. I think good. D'Angelo Russell was um, – He was, I think he's in last year's contract, so they were going to have to pay him regardless. And they okay, and so they don't want to pay. It him. was a contract thing. Yeah, okay. and I mean the Rockets were the same thing. The Rockets traded Clint Capella, uh, but oh, Butterfinger ass to Atlanta, 
and they traded for Robert Covington, which they are not playing small ball. The Rockets are the first team in NBA history to have uh, no one be over the the size of six six. So, <laughs> Huh? Yes. Uh, no, they, that can't be right. Uh, let's go look. <laughs> they traded Clint Capella. They traded Clint Capella. So we don't have anybody. So we have people that are higher, but yeah, yeah, our yeah. lineup, our lineup well, is awesome. I'm glad. To be honest, I'm glad. Uh, the coach, uh, what's his name, D'Antoni, is finally creating the team that he could run it in the style he wants. Because this guy ran the Phoenix Suns, and it was a Fast break team, but keep in you mind, get down the court. They played small. Keep ball, in mind that they, they had won. who was their center? Uh, uh, Amar Stoudemire. Amar Stoudemire. They had a Mar Stoudemire who was six ten. So six ten. Yeah, Amar yeah. Stoudemire six ten. What? Yes, he's a giant. He's Why? a giant, bro. What is so? Going on? There's no such thing as small ball. This but is actually as a, we saw against the Lakers. Yeah, they can win. Yeah, but then as we saw against Phoenix, they can lose. <laughs> But then again, I, then again, I, I gotta give uh, uh, the Rockets a little bit of credit here. They they sat down Russell Westbrook, and they also I think I didn't play a couple other players, so they pretty much let that game go. I I, uh, I don't really give a shit about Clay Compella. I think Clay Compella can be replaceable, and anybody all he does is catch his lobs. No, he, so I mean he was me, supposed to develop it to that center that could lead, and he never and he did. never did. He never so, did. And I I don't think he had the offensive ca- capability. But that's a good pickup for Atlanta. He got traded to Atlanta. Yeah. Um. And uh, with Trey. Yeah. Something Trey. What's his what's name? It? Not not Trey. Wait. Uh, what's his name? Trey. Wait. What? That's six <laughs> nine. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Trey Young. Trey Young. Trey Young. Yeah. Trey uh, another, Young. I'm sorry. Another NBA news. Uh, Portland got screwed over. Uh, Friday night. Oh yeah. Uh, with a no, with a no call by the refs on a goaltending that would have tied the game. Yeah. Uh, Damian Lillard was pissed, and, and, and he and had a uh, went off, went completely off on uh NBA officiating. It was trending on Twitter. People were going off, and I even commented myself like, "This is the reason I don't watch the NBA." No, yeah, and this that's a valid like, point. And, and, and NFL refs, I mean NFL refs, uh, NBA refs have no, them too, too much, too much control, too much say in a game, and just one call, as you can see, can totally. But that's any sport. Make a win. No, no, that's no. Any sport. But they've done. They've taken steps to fix it. Uh, even FIFA, who no, didn't, no one thought would change. Their stuff has now implemented rules that can help them decide whether a, go- a ball goes in or out of bounds, whether it's a goal or not. Um, they have instant replay. I don't know why they didn't do instant replay. Well, they, it's not replayable. They said it's that uh, yeah. if it was a call, it's replayable. If, but if, since it was a no call, it's not replayable. Uh, to me, that doesn't make exactly. sense. At least stupid. I, I, so the until ref is trying to go home, man. So until those changes are made, I'm not. Why am I going to watch something where the NBA you know refs what? are they deciding say that? They say that, oh, it makes a game longer. If it's a competitive game and it's a good game, people are going to watch it. So yeah, and now you have the time. Now so, you have the, you know, the best basketball league in the world getting trashed by their own players because uh, the officiating is trash. You got to also, inf- you know, go over the fact that it shouldn't come down to that. No, you, no, you no, still no. have. No, no, no. When is, that's my point. That's all my thing. So what? You have, there should always be a have, blowout. So no, no, you no. Don't let a, you have four quarters. Four quarters to decide the game. All right, bro. If you're behind, that's not the referee's fault. That's your fault. No, no, no. They hey, were, Jimmy. But they weren't behind by like ten plus. They were only they were down by two like points. three, three or two points. Yeah, and they but, ended up losing by more. But didn't but... Damien literally shoot like two threes and miss both of them because okay. he thought he's a three way. All right, but when you let's say this is a regular season game, they're in the playoff run. No, yeah. So now, okay, you're gonna just leave this as is in the playoffs when think, when these uh, top teams are facing off each other, the games are gonna be close. But that's that's night. Nah, man, I don't want to see this. It shit. cost the Rockets against the Golden State Warriors, uh, but then again, the Rockets were shooting like a hundred threes and missing all of them. Uh, so in this instance, I I know that refs are humans. Things are gonna be made. I'm not saying that the game is perfect, but I also don't think that you should leave it up to the refs' hand anyway. Especially if you are uh, at home uh, and you are in the they playoffs. I know. I'm just giving an example. Uh-huh. If you're at home and you're in the playoffs, you're expected to win. You're expected to bring that A game, especially in the playoffs. So if you're down by four in the fourth quarter and the ref misses a call, that's on you for not taking those other advantage of those <laughs> other three. I'm so, sorry. Dude. Well, no. until the I, NBA fix the ref. The refs deciding games basically until until I'm not seeing a team against versus the refs. 
I'm, I'm not gonna watch the NBA. But you watch so. the Astros, who yeah, t- who, who take advantage. Yeah, of the they have replay. Cheating. They have replay. Hey, they got caught cheating. You yeah, still watch and them. we still got the ring. So that's <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's what that is, so don't be, that yeah. that takes us to our next Let's topic. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> that takes us to our next topic, uh, the Hinch interview. Hinch, uh, uh, former manager of the Astros. Former, hey, hey, former cheating manager of the Astros. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> if you've seen the investigation and not nah. just read off the paper, <laughs> uh, Hinch didn't really know. Yes, he saw signs and he didn't s- stop it, but he wasn't the one behind it. So that's why I think uh, Hinch, you will see Hinch managing a team again. Really, it was the GM who was the one moving pieces around and 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 kind of moving things. So he he shouldn't get a job in, in the in the MLB again. But um, anyways, Hinge made it, did an interview, uh, kind of going through his uh his point of view on everything that happened. Uh, yes, the Astros cheated on twenty seventeen. Uh, but it it seems that Hinge really, like I said, didn't know to wasn't behind it, but didn't stop it either. Uh, you know, and asked if he wants to manage again. Yes, of course he does. Um, yeah. and that regardless of what's going on in the media about him, you know, he, he, he feels that he can, uh, you know, his hopes are to manage a team again. I, and uh, I feel bad for Hinch cause yeah. like Elias, uh, mentioned earlier, it seems like he was just a scapegoat in this situation. It could be. Honestly, I get two shits about baseball. Uh, baseball is boring as fuck, but I will say this. Uh, just to troll all these Astros fans who have taken this personal, it's hilarious to me. Uh, there's one in front of me right now because they just barely started watching like two years ago. So I really hope that they take the rings away just just for me, just so I can be, make fun of them because it's hilarious to me. But uh, I don't feel I, I feel bad for him. Hopefully he gets another coaching job. Um, you know the Skeeters, the sh- the Skeeters, <laughs> the Skeeters. Oh uh, yeah, they're not taking the rings away. Uh, Eli, you got anything? Uh, uh don't cheat. Ooh, Patriots. Astros, whoever follows them, they're cheaters themselves. You follow? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Swing, <laughs> <laughs> uh, next on the list, uh, we have gaming. Pew, 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 pew. Game yeah. over. Uh, Apex Legends season four. Just oh, like yeah, yeah. Jerks, what you got to say? Oh, man, where do I start? They got a brand new character. A brand new season that they reworked the map. Uh, have you played the new character yet? No, because I don't have that much points for that wow. character yet. But I started playing again on uh, PC, <laughs> and like I used to play on console a lot. But like having to kind of restart, so you kind of have to build up those points again to buy the characters. But anyways, the new season has been really fun. It's bringing a lot of people back to Apex Legends. Um, still like one of my favorite multiplayer games of the year from 2019. It probably still continuing this year. It's the fluidity in the in the movement, the the abilities from the characters, like just the overall gameplay is so good. Uh, uh yeah, like right now uh, on the YouTube side, you got somebody, some some of you guys are able to see it's like some of the new uh, uh skins for the characters, and that's the new character Revenant, uh whose abilities are pretty cool. Like you can uh you you pop up a totem, and if like you touch the totem, like you pretty much have one extra life. It lets you go into like a battle and like pretty much go Rambo. And if you go up, go down to one HP, you teleport back to the totem and you can like uh, heal yourself again. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Uh, definitely going to be streaming this. Uh, How more. many shields do you have to break to finally kill somebody? Uh, you have one shield and then you have one like health bar. No, no, no. But you can get multiple shields. What do you mean? Depending on the level of the shield. Oh, um, yeah. It, it's like a white, blue, uh, purple, and gold armor. So four, up to four shields to yeah. kill somebody. Okay. Whoa. Wow, that doesn't make sense. It's like four Halo shields that you got. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, four Halo shields. That doesn't mean you have them all at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, I, I, uh, I'm happy for all you Apex fans. I really have never once played Apex. Maybe I would get into it one day. Right now, I'm literally playing Destiny Two a lot, like mm. a lot, which is crazy as fuck. Uh, in other news, uh, Activision has released uh, news that. Uh, players are spending double what they usually do for their other games uh, without any loot boxes. Question. Yeah. Question. Uh, are there DLCs in uh, nope. that game? You get all DLCs for all free. All DLCs are free. I wonder why. 
<laughs> Duh! Yeah, but there's you a battle pass. stupid fucks, there's duh. A, there's a pass. I you, understand a pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand a season pass. And all pass. it does is give you skins, yeah, extra stuff. Extra stuff. Hey, if you want to buy extra skin exactly. and make, make design your own fucking player and look like you're fucking uh, stupid ass, and fucking fine. <laughs> all right. Uh, the battle pass. Actually, it's pretty interesting how the battle pass works for Call of Duty. Um... They, I, I believe they lock the the new guns that release like with the each season behind the battle pass. Mm. So any, anybody can get the guns. You just gotta buy the battle pass, and then on top of that, you still gotta rank up your battle pass. Mm-hmm. So the yes, uh, call, uh, Activision is reporting like uh, this is coming from Forbes.com. Uh, top of the line, Activision Blizzard uh, saw player uh, spending in Call of Duty Modern Warfare jump by double digits after replacing. Um, uh, mangled loot boxes, randomized uh, collection of items, and paid maps with a Fortnite style battle pass. Uh, this is making them a lot of money. Uh, Modern Warfare uh, reboot last year, uh, <clears throat> like it, it was exactly what they needed. Like it was Modern Warfare, which is like one of the most beloved like versions of Call of Duty. Um, they took out the loot boxes because everybody was complaining about it. A la, Obviously, a la JP. Uh, this is something like th- th- this is going to boost them to continue doing this type of style of, of development of releases, which is great. Uh, my only issue right now is that where's the BR at? I just want to play. BR. Oh, come on. I like I, I, I don't play Call of Duty anymore right now because it's like, I don't know. some It's kind of boring because you're picky. And then at the same time, they they don't have. Uh, prestige system right now. I think you cap at 155 and that's but it. But they're gonna add it later. I mean, you would assume. I, I, I don't they think would. they want to do much because they're gonna come out with the new one you anyway. Would assume. Yes. Uh, speaking of the new one, they actually did reveal this. I think this past week that uh, we will be getting a new Call of Duty in 2020. Uh, they haven't said who the developer is gonna be, and they haven't confirmed if it's gonna be for next gen as well. Since this year, we're gonna be getting the next gen system. Next gen. <laughs> next gen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pumped for that. Ooh, um, yeah, I'm no. Uh, I, I play ever so often. It's still good. It feels like a to me right now is the best feeling shooter. Um, I really like how it feels, and uh, but yeah, I'll come back to it ever so often. Team up with some friends. I'm just and, excited uh, for for next gen. I can't wait to see Master Chief's ass all over again. Uh, I can't mm-hmm. wait to. To see the last of all that metal ass, um, all that metal ass. Hopefully they kill that girl because she's annoying to me. She reminds me of that girl from Juno, even though it's a different actor. All right, um, uh, and last in gaming, Evo 2020, Whoop. the allotted the biggest fighting tournament of gaming in of the year every year, uh, has released their list of. I games. believe I saw a familiar one. Uh, Let's yeah, they say released that it. One. They release their list of games that they will be uh, having at the tournament, and uh, every year it changes. Some some games kind of remain. Hey, there's one that I'm gonna watch. But though, for I the think. most part, there's different games every year, and you get the top competitors for each of these games in the world at Evo. And so yeah, the the lineup looks pretty good. Give uh, the lineup, jerks. You want to go over Give it? The oh hell yeah, the lineup for this year's Evo will begin. Uh, actually, they had a live stream on Twitch. Uh, I was actually looking for the video of them like announcing them, but I can't find it. But anyways, uh, from the starting from the top, Dragon Ball Fighters is coming back. A very fun game to play. Oh, I, super I, fun I, game to watch. Yeah, yeah, that one too. Like it's so it's so good, so fun. It's easy to play for newbies. Uh, so they got Dragon Ball Fighters. They got Grand Blue Fantasy, Fantasy Versus. Versus. That's I've never heard of that. I've one. never heard of that. It's never one heard of, of that. That's one, one of those hentai well, looking my anime. Favorite video game fighting style games whatever anyways they have samurai showdown the new version the new, that came yeah, out which has been very popular i, I haven't played sold. it i need to I, i'm waiting for it i to was get looking at it uh, uh but i think it's coming out for switch soon so i was like i'll, oh, I'll probably, probably get it for switch. switch yeah all right and they have soul caliber six coming back yeah, again. that's soul interesting <laughs> it's gonna be good to see to be honest i haven't seen too much of my soul girl caliber. taki my girl Taki. As far as like in tournaments, so I'm excited to see this at uh, Evo yeah. 2020. Yeah. They have uh, Street Fighter V Champion Edition. Ooh, which, okay. is, that, uh, is, which, that a, is that a vanilla version of it? I, I, don't I know. believe so. I, 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 I'm not really into the whole Street no, Fighter uh, thing. So it's this, too slow, I felt. This is the new one that came out. It, it didn't have a lot of features in it when it first released. Like It, it literally was like three quarters finished, like yeah. modes-wise. 
So people were hating on it. But throughout time, they've updated it big time. It has all like a whole bunch of content now. Okay. And yeah, worldwide, it's become more oh, okay. popular. Okay. So I, I'm interested in seeing it too. Because I heard one. I heard one. Well, go ahead. And, and then you. they have Underlight in Birth EX Latte. Never I heard of it. I've bro. never heard of this in uh, another hentai uh, version of the game. I don't know. Catch that on Pornhub.com. I don't know. Uh, they and then they have, of course, Tekken Seven and Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah, the new one, which the newest is, one, which I is they, were, basically the one they should have. I thought they were gonna have Marvel vs. Capcom too. They are. And they, then yeah. <laughs> and then uh, this is coming from Newsweek.com. The ninth game represented is Marvel vs. Capcom Two on Sega Dreamcast. This year's Evo Ooh, they're going will, old school. will have a special invitation tournament. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite part. Yeah. They will have a special invitation invitational tournament to celebrate the game's 20th anniversary. Wow. The the, the 20th tournament, the tournament of champions will feature a total of eight players inc including the four Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Evo title holders holders from past wow. Four wow. of the champions will be there as well. Bro, Hell I love yeah. those matches, bro. And like the trolling yeah, and their yeah. faces because the game is so fast yeah. and Evo has grown so much since then. Yeah. Imagine how it's, how crazy it's going to be now and the crowds and the yeah. hype behind it. Um, uh, this that is game. exciting. Uh, this is like I've always catched uh, Evo, like uh, always catch Smash Brothers and some of the other tournaments. So uh, that one uh, guy who does Mortal Kombat and uh, Street Fighter, who, who wins all the time, I forget his name. Um, Lunchbox? Nah, that's Hbox. Um, uh, the the furry guy. Oh, Sonic Fox. Sonic Fox. So you know he's one of my favorite guys to watch. Yeah, but, he's fun to watch. Yeah. Um. But man, this tournament, just the lineup they have, it's really to good. me it's one of the most hype. But did you notice what game was not said out loud? Uh, so two games that are I, I feel no, are, are one missing. game it should okay, be okay. Super there. Smash Brothers Melee. No, fuck Melee. It's not on. We got nah, Ultimate. Melee should be. We got Ultimate out. Yeah, it yeah, has yeah. everybody. Fuck okay, it. okay, and uh, Mortal Kombat. Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Kombat is, is not in there. there. Yeah, the, yeah, which there. I was surprised. I thought which it would I'm be like, there. Yeah, what the hell? Or, Maybe even the classics. Well, there's supposedly rumors that uh, MK11 will have a tournament, but it'll be their own thing. Oh, so, so maybe they going didn't want to Evo, wanna let, let them use yeah. it. Well, that's stupid because you can use Evo as a platform. Yeah, I, I mean... I mean, yes, but at the same time, you can also use your own game, which is like uber popular as its own platform. No, I'm going to say right get, now. And get money would from you, ticket sales, from you guys, invitation and yeah, sales. Yeah, would you guys like, I watch more versus... Cal uh, I, mean, I watch Mortal Kombat like on YouTube, like yeah. the, the, the matches, and yeah. I can sit there and just eat and so, watch that shit. Exactly. 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 So exactly. would you watch a Mortal Kombat centric tournament? Yeah, for like an hour, but not, <laughs> not That's what, all they need. I, I'd rather watch the it. amount of advertising they make for that hour. Is literally, all for Marvel vs. Capcom three, like we just, uh, me and my friends, uh, we just did like a, a tournament, and we just got into an apartment. It was like 30, 40 freaking dudes yeah, in that damn. little smallest apartment. Ooh, Dude, those tournament, <laughs> those tournaments went were fucking exciting, and just. And then we started playing Marvel's Capcom 2, and those matches are so fast and so quick because people know how to how to move. And I'm excited. I'm and excited for that. I can you sit know, there and watch. I don't know about you, that jerks, shit. but I would like to maybe do like a like a live stream for the you know commentating or I don't but know watching. Evo, but the Evo's like spread out during a couple of days. Yeah, like I know. Three, I know. Days, yeah, I, everything. Like like different. Maybe certain you know matches. What? And I'll probably ask my friend who was in those tournaments. Uh, who, who was in those tournaments? Uh, Annabelle. I'll ask him see if he know, if he has because he might even go there. I think because uh, where is that in Vegas? In Vegas, in Vegas? He let's go. Goes. July thirty first to August second. No. Let's go. Fuck that. Uh, he has one last time. I remember one time he went nah, over there. I never. Yeah, I've been to Vegas, but I've never All been right, to the let's tournament. Go. Okay. Cool. But, but yeah. Trip. <laughs> All I know is that it's fucking. It gets fucking crazy. So, bro, I would love to go with you. So I don't know. Um, you go. For your stretch no. goal. I want to uh, go as a competitor. But yeah, uh, all right. So that's been the show, guys. Now we're going to end it off with our final punches. Now this is the part of the show where we say what's on our mind. Yeah. Uh, as a, as a final thing. So uh, we're going to start out with JP. JP, you got anything to say? Yeah. Um, RIP to... Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, what's it, was it listening to Linkin Park? I was literally just talking about it. Chester Bennington. Chester Bennington. Um, 
Man, y'all dumbasses in Lincoln Park should have just stuck to what y'all were originally what? doing. Lord okay. Jesus, all this experimentation shit, it fucked up y'all career. Y'all could have been better. Uh, after this whole fucking Transformer bullshit ass CD that wasn't even all that good, you guys were just trash. <laughs> I paid $95 to go to a concert and you played your new fucking album. And then y'all guys came out, you guys want to hear Hybrid Theory? And everything, everybody was all pumped up and y'all just did shut up that one little line with Chester. That's all y'all fucking did. I, 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 every time I listen to Lincoln Park, I'm like, wow, you guys are so amazing. But y'all fucked up. Who, the piano player, what's his stupid ass fucking name? Who knows? Uh, the, Johan? Yeah, fucking stupid ass motherfucker. Oh, I wanted to experiment. I want, no, motherfucker, your experimentation sucked. The first time you tried it, it sucked. You shouldn't have done it again. Oh, Dumbass. Oh, wait, you know, you're talking about, um, uh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, Anyways. all uh, right, jerks, you got a final point? Mike Shinoda. Uh, Thank you to Linkin Park for being diverse and not being boring like fucking Deftones who have become extremely irrelevant because they don't change. It's the same shit over and over again. Thank you. Work hard. They're irrelevant right now. They're, Deftones is still playing, jamming, going. They have their fan base and Linkin Park is nowhere to be seen. Um, I just want to say it's thank you. Hey, got. you had your moment. Shut up. I just want to say thank you to uh, AJ Hinch. Look, man, it's not your fault. <laughs> Get over thank it. Thank you for Cheaters. everything you've done for the Astros. I hope you someone hires you again. You're going to make them a championship team again. So uh, thank you for everything you've done You know, from us Astros fans. It's not your fault. Uh, you did everything you could. You're a good man. Don't let this weigh down on you, man. Cheater. Don't let this weigh down on Cheater. you. Cheater. All right, guys. That's been our show. Peace. Thank you Thanks for watching. watching. Like and subscribe. Ring the bell down below. We're on Anchor, Spotify, iTunes, all that bullshit. Peace. <laughs>